hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add notebooks and pages in Odo 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing Odo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our Odo 14 development tutorials so if I go to the sales module so from here I'll go to the default Odo sales module and if I open the quotation and if I click on edit, you can see a page concept here. So in total, we, we can see here we have a page called order line and another page called optional products and you have got another page called other info. So this section is called as notebook in Odoo. That is, it is an entire notebook and order line is the first page, optional product is the second page and other info is the third page of the notebook so let's see how we can add the same inside our custom module that is OM hospital so i think you have understood what is a notebook and its pages so this is a notebook and these are its pages so let's see how we can add such a concept inside our hospital module so if i go to the appointments form view we, let's see how we can add a notebook here and a couple of pages inside it so first of all I'll activate the debug mode in the database for that I'll go to the settings and from the settings from here we can activate the debug mode in the database and if I come back to the hospital then to the appointments let us take the form view edit view form the external ID of the form is view appointment form so if I go to the pie charm and this is my custom add-ons path and here we have the module that we are developing that is OM hospital and if I go to the views folder here I have appointment view.xml file where we have defined the appointment form view so if I open this file here you can see this is the form view where I have to add the notebook so we will be adding a notebook and page inside this form view so let's see how we can add that so before doing that uh, let's search inside the Odoo source code so here I have the Odoo source code and I'll click on find in path and if I search for notebook you can search with the keyword notebook you can add so if I search for the sales module so here you can see sales here you can see if I open this you can see how they have added the notebook simply you have to give a notebook then inside that you can define the pages so what I'll be doing is that I'll copy this tag that is notebook and if I come back to the appointment view after this group so the, the here is we have a group after this group tag I'll add the new tag called notebook so you can see I have opened a tag called notebook and I have closed it so this is how we can add a notebook inside Odoo form view then inside the notebook we have to define the pages so to define the page you can use page equal to you can give a string for the page uh, doctor prescription doctor prescription I'll, I'll give the string as like this like this simply I have what I have added is I have added a notebook tag and inside the notebook tag I have defined a page then I have closed the notebook so if you come back here page and name and also you can give a name for this page because it will help for inheriting the same form view later so if you didn't specify a name it will be tough for you to inherit so always take care while you are defining a page make sure that you have given a proper name for the page so i'll give the name as doctor prescription so simply what i have done is i have added a notebook and inside the notebook i have added a page so let's see what happens if I upgrade the module right now. So simply I have already started the service and if I go to the UI and currently you can see there is no pages here. So I'll duplicate this tab and I'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu I'll be upgrading Odoo 14 development tutorials. So if you haven't got this module just go to the Odoo app store or you can get it from our GitHub repository. If you are if you download from the Odoo App Store, just search for Odoo Development Tutorials by Odoo Mates. So the module has been successfully upgraded. Now if I come back to the hospital, then to the appointments form view, and if I open, you can see 
doctor prescription has been added and with one page doctor prescription and there is nothing inside this view because we haven't added any fields inside the prescription or what we can see we can copy we can move this description field to here or we can add a new field called doctor prescription so let's go to the model appointment py and let's add one more node field prescription uh, i'll add one more field called prescription prescription fields dot i'll define a text field so that doctor can enter detailed note string i'll give us string prescription so what i have done is i have added a new field called prescription inside the appointment model and its type is text so what i'll be doing is that i'll be adding this field inside the page that we have added so there is a spelling mistake prescription and i'll add the field here so i'll give a group tag so if you didn't give group tag the label of the field will not be getting visible so inside the group tag field name equal to you can specify the newly added field so we, what we have done is inside the page i have simply added a group and inside the group i have specified the newly added field and let's add one more page in the notebook so we have added one page and i'll be adding one more page uh, medicines i'll give the name as medicine tab like after consulting with the doctor definitely doctor will uh, add some medicines for the medicine um, for the patient so for uh, recording the medicine i have simply added a page and inside this i will just remove and i'll keep the medicine page as empty and what here inside the first page i have defined one field and inside the second page there is nothing so let's upgrade the module and see what happens right now so if i go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll upgrade auto 14 development tutorials so there is one error so let's see what happens what was the error so there is some error let's see what gone wrong page correct medicine string so what is wrong here so let's evaluate so if i comment this there was some error so let's find out from where it comes medicine and uh, i got the mistake i understand the problem i think after adding the new field we haven't restarted the service so let's restart the service because we have added a new field prescription and then i think we haven't restarted the service so let's upgrade the module once again and see whether we have that error or not so you can see there is no error because we have forgot to restart the service after adding the new field so let's go to the hospital again then to the appointments and if i open the appointments you can see in the prescription section we have got a prescription text field and in the medicine tab it's empty and if you need to add one more page what you can do you can simply copy this put here give the name as other info like i'll give the page name as other info and you can set a you can set a name for the page and if you need to add uh, some more fields inside this what you can do uh, inside the other info what uh, i'll move that description section or checkup time or what i can move to that section so i'm thinking uh, age gender description okay i'll do one thing i'll keep it empty or i'll show you one thing i'll move this description field so here we have a not field so i'll copy this control x and i will put it inside the other info table that is i'll move it to the other info table so we have total in three in total of three pages inside the notebook that is notebook tag first page is doctor prescription second is medicine and the third one is other info and the pages will be coming in the given order so first will be the doctor prescription followed by medicine then other info so let's see what happens if i upgrade the module so what i have done is i have added one more tab and inside the tab i have added the description 
field. So let's go to the apps menu and from the apps menu just upgrade the module again. So if you like the video don't forget to click the like button and please do subscribe the channel so that you will be getting notified regarding all the upcoming videos. So the module has been upgraded. Now if I come back to the hospital menu then to the appointments and if I open any of the existing records you can see other info has been added so in the first tab we have prescription second there is nothing and in the here we have the field so this is how you can add notebook and pages inside Odoo version 14 simply you have to define a notebook tag and inside the notebook tag you can define n number of pages as you wish so I think you understand the concept and if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to comment it out or reach us over the email that is automates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like LinkedIn Facebook and Twitter so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you